the boy grew his hair long, wore tight clothes, and even used duct tape to strangle his lower body without telling anyone because he wanted to be a girl. He wanted to enter the women's locker room and the women's shower at will. His female classmates didn't care about his behavior, but he was very self-conscious about his male body. He wants to be a real bro, so he asks his brother to call him sister. Luckily, Lara's father Milo is very open-minded, and not only does not treat his daughter as a deviant, but also supports him to have a sex change operation. The doctor gave him estrogen, and with the help of the hormone, his facial curves were softer and his male throat not gradually disappeared. Lara is becoming more and more like a girl, and he is happiest when people treat him like a girl after sending his brother to school. They had this. Yeah. A short sentence can make Lara happy for a long time, but cross-gender is not an easy thing to do. Milo moved to a new house for him, and his brother moved to a new kindergarten, but Lara is still very competitive and his love of dance has earned him an internship at a top ballet school. It's great to get closer to his dream, but his masculinity is still causing him problems. In order not to be treated like a monster, he had to wrap tape between his legs every time he practiced dance. He was afraid of going to the bathroom, so he didn't dare to drink much water, even though he was sweating every day. At the end of each day, I had to rush into the toilet as fast as I could, soak the tape on my belly with water and slowly tear off the restraint by enduring the pain. And each time I would tear the flesh red, then he would take a big sip of water. He did not dare to change with other girls, so the toilet became his exclusive dressing room. Little did he know that his carefully kept secret would be made public by the teacher at the class meeting the next day. The teacher asked Laura to close her eyes and asked the girls to raise their hands if they would mind sharing the locker room with him. Not a single girl expressed her discontent. Not only that, they were very tolerant of Laura and would take him to play with them between classes, even inviting him into the girls' bathhouse with them. Lara's heart was warm by the kindness of his classmates. For transgender people, this kind of equal treatment is what they need most. After school Milo took Lara to see the doctor, who explained in detail what the surgery would entail. We'll cut open your original organ to remove the spongy body, and then we'll sew it up and insert it. The doctor also indicated that there might be a risk of high hemorrhage and post-operative infection. On the way home Milo didn't say anything, but Lara could see that he was worried. For Milo, he might be able to accept the child's wishes, but he didn't dare to take the slightest risk. Lara tried to comfort Milo, but Milo just laughed. Lara feels lucky to have such a family, but the days of practicing dance are still difficult. Ballet is a child's work, but Lara only started training at the age of 15. In addition, he now takes medication and is often unwell in order to make up the basic skills. Lara has to practice hard every day. He spins and jumps until his toes are bruised and his feet bleed. When he goes home, he keeps pressing on his bruised shoulders. His hard work finally paid off when he received his official qualification from the ballet academy. When he called Milo excitedly, Milo had even more good news. Today was the day he signed the surgery agreement, and he would soon be able to have the surgery, signaling that he would soon be a real girl. Shortly after Lara's birthday, Milo tells his friends and family the news and everyone is happy for Lara. Lara was also happy and looking forward to a new life. On this day Lara came for his usual counseling session, which is a normal part of sex reassignment surgery. When the doctor asked him if he had a boy he liked, the sunny Lara was still very self-conscious. He did not allow himself to be loved as a boy, but how could he not be in his adolescence? Watching his younger brother in kindergarten start dating, Lara hates his own body even more. He has trouble sleeping at night and comes to Milo for comfort. He is afraid that Milo will give so much for himself in vain and that no one will accept him even if the operation is successful. On the road of chasing his dream, Milo will always be his last port of call and his family will always be strong backing. But the day of the party, Lara's hard-earned heart was ruthlessly shattered. The man wore a black dress. A group of women made him pull down his pants and tried to lift his skirt. They were curious about how to hide their bottoms and pretend to be women. But Lara felt ashamed and inferior. <laughs> but in order to feed him with the group, Lara had to do it. In exchange for their laughter, Lara's heart was broken and his self-esteem was shattered. Lara leaves the party and returns home, hiding his wounds with a smile in the face of Milo's concern. He is afraid 
that Milo is just as hypocritical as his female classmates. Milo sees his worries and tries to help him open his heart. But all this company seems to be unbearable in front of reality. Lara becomes more sensitive and puts all his bets on ballet, hoping to use his dreams to regain his self-esteem. Even with his body on hormones for a long time, Lara asked himself to work a hundred times harder. And the more anxious he was, the harder it was to make progress. Lara felt like he was suffocating and he didn't know where to find the exit. This night he saw a couple making out at home and Lara couldn't help but think of Louis from the neighborhood. He knows that Louis has a crush on him and that he's not like the others. Louis always thought of her as a real girl. The next morning, Lara pulls out a letter from her neighbor. He knocks on Louis' door and says the courier misplaced the mailbox. Louis invites him in for a seat. In that him light, the young man and girl look at each other. The atmosphere gradually becomes more and more ambiguous. But still nothing happens. As long as he does not become a daughter, Lara will not be able to let go of the burden. He was so eager that he secretly increased the amount of drugs. And soon the bottle was at the bottom. He asked the doctor for a higher dose of hormones. But he was refused. Everything had to be done gradually. And only with a good body could sex reassignment surgery go more smoothly. Frustrated, Lara came to Louis' house that night and took off his coat. They Saturday shoulder to shoulder on the couch. And it didn't matter what was on the TV anymore. Lara took the initiative and kissed Louis. And Louis couldn't hold back for a moment. But at the last moment, Lara ran away without looking back. Lara was so distressed that he took out his temper on the people closest to him. He began to resent Milo's constant concern. Lara finally unloads her heart. And it turns out that he is afraid that Milo's efforts are just in vain. Milo's words comforted him, but all the talk is still not enough to overcome the reality of the situation. Lara's body could not take it anymore because of the increase in the dosage of medication. But with the Ballet Academy performance just around the corner, he had to put in all his effort to practice. Every time he danced, he had to use duct tape to hold his lower body tightly. And it was often painful to tear it off. In order to become a girl, he went through unimaginable pain. He increased his hormone dosage, but his body got worse and worse, and even his love of dancing was affected. Lara rehearsed day and night for the Academy's performance, having previously worked hard to secure a spot for herself. His movements were becoming more and more floaty, his cold sweats were increasing, and his abdomen was often in pain. Lara's weight was dropping rapidly. Because of the tape, his private parts became infected, and the doctor advised him not to continue dancing and to recuperate for the sex change surgery. But Lara couldn't let go of his dream of dancing and finally insisted on rehearsing on stage. It was like he burned all his soul and burst into flames on stage. But after the rehearsal, he ran backstage and fainted the next second. When he woke up from the bed, he wanted to go on with the rehearsal and complained about Milo's failure to wake him up. But he found that the door of his room was already locked. Milo wouldn't allow him to hurt his body anymore. Lara breaks down and cries. They went to the hospital again, and the doctor said the operation had been cancelled. Lara's dream of becoming a girl has been postponed indefinitely. He was supposed to be on stage, but he could only be an audience member watching the performance. Looking at the dancing students, Lara shed tears. His heart was broken. After that, Lara became the quiet, well-behaved fake girl again. His heart was pieced together and glued together so that he could at least support himself and laugh with others and welcome the new year with the cheers of the crowd. But the broken heart was still there. So one ordinary morning, Lara smiled and said goodbye to Milo and her brother who had left home. He turned around and took out ice and scissors from the refrigerator, wrapped the ice in a cloth and opened the door of the house to make an emergency call for himself. Then he walked into the room. Lara wanted to press the fast forward button for his life with his own hands. When he woke up again, Milo was holding his hand at the bedside. So the operation was completed without a hitch. At the end of the story, Lara becomes a real girl. He is confident and beautiful, with his head held high towards a brighter future. The movie girl tells the story of a transgender person's journey. God put their souls in the wrong place, so they are brave enough to break through. But this bravery is often not recognized. But a truly free era does not use gender as a yardstick. No need to treat others as different. Because each of us will be the minority at some point. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to follow us. We will see you next time.